All I wanna do is ride around shining while I can afford it Plenty ice on my neck so I don't get nauseous Float around in the greatest of Porsches Feel like a chuck wagon cause I'm on 12 horses And the three behind mine oh. Hey guys, what's up? It is Apple SDK Dev. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to hide the status bar in any of your iPhone apps, or yeah, that's basically how it is. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open up your Xcode. Um, when you're cre you can create a new project, or you can really add it on to a project you've already been working on. Either way, really. I'm going to go ahead and just use like a window base, because it's probably the simplest and quickest. I'm just going to name it Test Status Bar. I don't really know. You guys can call it whatever you want if you have an idea. That's perfect. Once you're here, go ahead and just open it up. Now, just to prove that it's um, going to work at all and it's I'm actually going to hide it at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and build and run the way it is right now to prove you that there is a status bar now and that there won't be later. So let's just go ahead and let this run and it will show you. Alright, it's loading up nice and fine. And as you can see, we got the white background as normal, but there still is the status bar right here. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, or just leave it behind. And the first thing we're going to do is go into the whatever you called it, dash info.playlist folder. So once you're here, go down to the bottom row and click on the plus sign. And once we're here, we have to type in a couple things and type it exactly how I am. UI status bar hidden. Now you must type it in exactly like that. And if you did it right... If you change the text, and it should say, status bar is hidden, I'm uh, sorry, status bar is initially hidden. And once you've got that, go ahead and check it off. Once you've done that, go ahead and save it and close it. Now the last thing we have to do is go into the main window, or whatever the XIB is, if you choose a view-based application, it would just be whatever you called it. And as you can see here, the status bar is indeed here. So we have to go up top here into window attributes, and we have to change it from status bar gray to status bar none. And as you can see, it's not there anymore. Now, just to prove it, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll just drop in, I don't know, I'm just going to put in like a label that says test. That way you just know that this is really happening. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and go back into our Xcode. Now that we're pretty much all finished, just go ahead and make sure it's going to the simulator, not the device, and it's running on 4.2 or whatever you got. And there it is. As you can see, there is no status bar, just how we wanted it. It's the same one because it has my little test thing right there. Worked out perfectly. Hope this anything happened to you. I hope you can do this on awesome, like some really awesome cool apps. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful, subscribe, rate it five, all that stuff. Uh, hit me with some feedback. Love feedback. That's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.